Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel, on our website, or our social media. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a model that launched in 250 pieces for the 2016 model year. Technically, the second of the Ocean Commitment series. This is the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe Chronograph Gray Ceramic, the Ocean Commitment. Two. The timepiece measures 43.6 millimeters in diameter, 15.4 millimeters thick from lug to lug, 49.5 millimeters with a 23 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Let's throw it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. It's comfortable. It's also very light. Being constructed of ceramic, you don't feel the heft that you'd expect in a 43 plus complicated sports watch. It's also not excessively thick. You can see it's cylindrical and sheer in profile, but it will fit underneath a jacket cuff. Under 50 millimeters lug to lug, I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. Let's take a quick look at hardware and software. Simple but worthwhile. Blancpain includes a lovely navy blue sailcloth strap that's almost impossible to tear. Note a monotone stitch as well as a folded and rounded edge. There is rubber underneath, vulcanized rubber, and you can see it's a brand new strap designed to isolate the wrist from the coarse fabric. And then you can see there is a full ceramic pin buckle, both pin and buckle. This is where you normally see a titanium piece or a PVD piece on most ceramic watches, but Blancpain uses Swatch Group Engineering Muscle to render the buckle, the easiest part of the watch to disfigure, in scratch-resistant ceramic. And that's true of the entire case. Being ceramic, it is very, 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 very hard, scratch and scuff resistant. If you're asking, is ceramic for me? Ask, do you often shatter or chip your sapphire crystals on your standard watches. If no, ceramic probably is for you. Now the Bathyscaphe is different from the standard 5015 in that it features a more minimalist vintage inspired case. You have the squared off lug profiles, minimal beveling, a very sheer side. You have a big crown profile without crown guards, pump style pushers because this is the chronograph. You have a ceramic, gray ceramic bezel with a blue ceramic insert. Let's hear the detent. It's, it's refined and subtle. I would compare it to the feel of a Rolex GMT bezel. Now, it gives you the ability to locate the luminescent pearl adjacent to the minute hand. I suppose you could use the hour hand too, but in general, you're gonna line up with the minute hand, and it gives you a zero to 60 count up timer, which is handy because you can time two events concurrent using the chronograph and the bezel, or if you note, the chronograph register only goes up to 30 minutes. This gives you the flexibility to time intervals between 30 and 60 minutes. Now, the dial features all applique polished indices and a lovely blue sunburst that radiates out from center. You have sunken sub-registers for chronograph minutes and hours, and note that they are recursively sunken, so there are sunken excavations inside the sunken registers, and then everything is simple white on blue print. Note that there is very limited customization on the dial. The color is the customization. It doesn't declare ocean commitment. There isn't a geosphere image on the dial. It says limited down at six o'clock on the sub-register, and that is it. Flip it all over, by the way, screw down crown, 300 meter water resistance, and we have perhaps the most interesting and overlooked high mech chronograph caliber on the market. You can see that there is an 18 karat gold Old, multiply finished Blancpain Ocean Commitment script on the case back. You can see it's individually numbered out of 250. But this movement, the F385, arrived in 2014 and was probably the most overlooked new movement of the year. It is a Blancpain exclusive Frédéric Piguet evolution of the historic 1185, but with features the older movement never had. Now it includes a column wheel and a vertical clutch, so the action is crisp. And as you can see, the chronograph starts without any jump or stagger, and you can leave the chrono running because of the vertical clutch. It's a very efficient system. You'll also appreciate that there is a quick set date, but a feature that the 1185 never had, when you pull the crown out, there is hacking seconds, so that's new. Also new, the 1185 operates at 21.6. This operates at 36,000 vibrations per hour or 10 beats per second. The 1185 featured a half bridge for the balance. This features a full bridge, and this is free sprung compared to the mobile stud index of the 1185. So here, with a full bridge and a free sprung index, it's very shock resistant. The 1185 is adjusted in a chronometer style five positions. This is adjusted in six. And I should mention that it features a silicon anti-magnetic hairspring, so it's both very shock resistant and highly anti-magnetic to go along with its 30 bar water resistance. Now the watch is immaculately hand finished internally. You can see that the mirrored bevels on the bridges are so broad you need not use a loop in order to appreciate them. Also note that 
superimposed bridges, such as for the winding system, feature double beveling on the surface of each bridge plate. All of the screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference, and in place of the hackneyed Cote de Genève, you can see there is a sort of drawn spiral graining across the bridges. There is engine turning on the base plate, and as you can see, there's a satination on the wheels. But look at the wheels. They're cut in a fashion evocative of Lamborghini wheels, reminding you of Blancpain's longtime partnership with the Lamborghini brand. It is a very impressive watch. And I should also mention that as a chronograph, unlike the standard Piquet 1185, this one is built as a flyback as standard. It pivots on 37 joules. It is high horology. It is hand finished. It is a real diver, and it is limited edition and almost completely scratch proof. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the 50 Fathoms Ocean Commitment Chronograph.